welcome back to our channel we really appreciate your coming back to join us on this one thank you a very green nutritious ebunebunu soup with fufu is our recipe today come with us as we take you through the process thank you for watching Girls are really learning fast on all the home duties and we are so happy about that. They sweep the compound happily with ease. That's all fun to do. Our boy now gets to the farm to bring in the cassava from Grandpa. Well, one one. Grandpa uproots the cassava and arranges it in a calabash for us. Grandpa is really making our boy explore in the village experience. This is lovely, isn't it? Sweet for me, great experience. Grandpa finally comes home from the farm with our little young man. Grandpa begins to arrange the fireworks. Our princesses brings in the ingredients and all utensils and materials for today's recipe.
girls fetch water into the calabash. These are all the ingredients for today's recipe. Have Kuntum onions, garlic and ginger, wele, pepper, garden eggs, okro, prekese, turkey berry, meat, opoku fish, smoked catfish, fish and amane. These are all the ingredients for our very green soup recipe. Grandpa lights up the fire. Our girls brings the cassava to Grandpa to start peeling. The fire is now set up. We bring in chairs and begin to wash the pots. Pour water into the pot and put it on fire. Wash the earthenware bowl and begin to grind the garlic and ginger. Add pepper and continue to grind. Add slice of onions and keep grinding. Pour water into the calabash containing the kuntum ray, onions, garden eggs, pepper, wash it and put it into the pot on fire. Grandpa and our girls continue to peel the cassava.
wash and add the turkey berries to the pot on fire. Continue to grind the garlic and ginger. Put charcoal to the coal pot and set fire into it. Our boy takes the plantain to grandpa. This food process is by popular request. We are here because of you, so we cook what you want to see. Thank you for the love. Grandpa begins to peel the plantain. Wash our meat, put it in a pot. Put the garlic and ginger to it. Add water, put it on fire and cut slice of onions onto it. Check the ingredients on fire and it's boiling beautifully. Add salt to the meat and cover to boil. Stir the ingredients in fire and cover to continue boiling. We bring in a calabash and put the peeled cassava and plantain into it. Nature sets in. It begins to rain heavily. We pack all the utensils to the porch. Everyone is on the run to make sure our cooking continues. Grandpa brings in an old roofing sheet to protect our power from quenching. Our girls are really hard working. Let's all congratulate them for the good work done in our comment session. Thank you for the love. We check on the meat and fire, wash it at the belly and cover to go.
Papa is checking around on the ring to make sure everything is well. Check the ingredients on the bar, stay and take it off the bar. <laughs> Drain the water out from it. Put it in an earthen well bowl and begin to grind till it's well mashed. Wash the cassava and plantain very well. Put it on fire, add water and cover with plantain leaf and a lid. Now the rain has stopped completely. We begin to move to our cooking spot. We continue to grind the ingredients and tidy the compound after the rain has finally stopped. Pour water into an earthenware bowl containing the ingredients and strain to the pot containing the meat on fire. We bring in the mortar, pestle and chair for the fufu pounding. We wash the mortar and pestle. Check the cassava. Take it off the fire and drain the water out from it.
we begin to pound the plantain first. We toast the precursor. Wash it very well and put it into the soup. The fufu pounding continues. Kindly rate our girls' fufu pounding over 100% in the comment section. Our soup begins to boil. Grandpa takes over the food turning and we attend to the soup. Put the different kinds of fishes into the boiling soup and continue to pound the fufu. Wash and add the okra and pepper to the soup. The fufu pounding continues again and again.
everybody supports in the full pounding and that's so awesome Check and stir the soup. Our fufu is beautifully ready. We turn and serve it in an earthenware bowl. Our fufu is lined up beautifully and ready to be served. If you really love our fufu process, kindly give us a thumbs up and leave your comments. Our soup is ready. We take it off the fire and food is ready. We begin to serve the green soup on the fufu and this looks so beautiful. Thank you for stopping by on this one. I hope you love the process. Much love to you.
All is set now for consumption. Our girls and boy arrange their chair. We make Grandpa's table ready and make his food available to him. So yummy and nutritious. Grandpa prays and begins to enjoy his food. Everybody washes their hands, pray, and begin to enjoy this nutritious, sumptuous food. Thank you for watching. Share this video to reach a wider audience. See you in our next video. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye bye.